Hey everyone, today I'm coming to your review on a very, very exciting figure for me, that being the brand new Star Wars The Black Series, The Mandalorian, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Light Cruiser. That right there is a sentence I never really thought I would say. I did get him at GameStop Canada, but man, I'm so very excited to finally have this figure. I've been looking forward to him ever since he was revealed, which it feels like it's been around a year now, so it definitely has been a long time, but it's been even longer since we got the episode of The Mandalorian with him in it, which was honestly not only one of the best episodes of The Mandalorian, but just one of the best episodes of anything Star Wars. It truly was perfect, and it was the perfect finale for The Mandalorian Season 2, and a huge reason for that was this guy right here, and ever since that episode came out, I was dying to get him in the Black Series line, but if I'm being honest, I didn't really think we would get him in the Black Series line, because at the time, not only him, but many of the things from Season 2 just felt so new, and they felt so far away from getting anything represented in plastic form, but here we are, two years later, and I'm very impressed with Hasbro, because we honestly got probably everything that we wanted to get from season two of the Mandalorian in the Black Series line and one of the main things was this figure right here and I gotta say Hasbro did a very very good job on this but without further ado I have a decent amount to say on this figure so let's get into the review for the brand new Star Wars the Black Series the Mandalorian Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser. Now, as always, I do want to start off with the packaging for this figure. He is in your standard Black Series Galaxy packaging design, but of course, the plastic-free one at that. On the front, we have a rendered image of the figure, which does look quite good, although at least to my eyes, the head sculpt looks completely different from the one on the actual figure. Guess that could just be me, but let me know if you kind of agree in the comments down below. Up top, Star Wars the Black Series logo. Down below, we have orange for the Galaxy packaging Star Wars the Mandalorian line, Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser, as well as the Hasbro logo, and some other information down below. On the side, we have the iconic image of Luke from Mandalorian in the galaxy packaging line, which looks absolutely amazing, especially when he is in front of the Imperial Light Cruiser hallway. He is right beside Din Djarin in his Marak disguise, as well as the HK-87 droid. I don't really like how he's next to the HK-87 droid and not the Dark Trooper. I wish they would have switched those around, but I guess it isn't a huge deal in the grand scheme of things. There we have his name on the bottom. Not much more, though, for the image of him. On the back, we have another rendered image of the figure, which is the same one that is on the front, although this one is way more clear. We also have his bio reading when the Mandalorian embarks on a mission to save Grogu from Moff Gideon. He receives unexpected help in the form of Luke Skywalker. That was definitely unexpected indeed. I don't think anyone was really expecting to see Luke, but it was easily one of the best cameos in all of Star Wars for me. Number 30 in the Black Series Galaxy Packaging line for the Mandalorian, which is a very fitting number. And then on this side, we have another rendered image of the figure, as well as his measurements being 5.7 inches and 14.5 centimeters. Plastic repackaging on the top, the infinite void of black. On the bottom, we have the price for the figure at GameStop Canada. Keep in mind that is a Canadian price, but other than that, don't have much more to say about the packaging. So let's get into the Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser figure himself. And here we have the Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser figure himself looking so, so very good. I absolutely love the design from the Mandalorian and all black design for Luke is always amazing, especially when we have a black cloak and we rarely get black cloaks in the Black Series line. But as much as I love this cloak, I'm gonna have to take it off so we can get a look at that brand new sculpt. Now, as much as I was looking forward to getting a Luke Skywalker from the Mandalorian in the Black Series, I was also equally looking forward to getting this brand new Luke Skywalker body. As we all know, we originally saw it with the Rancor HasLab, but we also all know what happened with that, but still, if that was even to come out, this still would have came out earlier because that was scheduled to come out in fall of 2023, but regardless, this body is absolutely amazing and is so very modern and goes very well with all your modern Black Series figures. I'm very excited to get that Luke Skywalker from the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi in the summer, but I'm also kind of sad that we aren't getting the Rancor Luke Skywalker because that one was the Jabba's Palace look. Even though this is very similar, this is black over the gray which that one would have had very similar figures but still i kind of wish we would have gotten it and who knows maybe we will get it down the line but for the lightsaber with this luke skywalker figure it is of course the return of the jedi design which we have gotten many times in the black series line before although at least to me i believe this is a brand new mold as it does have that more modern way of taking the blade off of a lightsaber it is way more accessible but still do be very careful as you can see mine is already kind of starting to bend i would hate for it to break off on mine and i would hate for it even more to break on your 
door, so do definitely keep that in mind. But once you take the blade off, you can attach the hilt to the actual belt of the Luke Skywalker, which does look really, really good. Very, very small peg, so do keep that in mind. But once it's on there, I guess it does stay pretty good, and especially with the cloak and him holding Grogu, that does look amazing, and I will show that later. Now, for the head sculpt with this Luke Skywalker figure, I think it looks all right, although it definitely doesn't look like Mark Hamill. It's crazy that even in 2023, after all the Luke Skywalkers that we've got, Hasbro still can't capture Mark Hamill's likeness. Will they ever capture it? I guess we will just have to wait and see, but I guess it looks okay, and it doesn't matter as much with this figure as per se a original trilogy Luke, as he is deep faked in The Mandalorian, but still, it should look like a Luke Skywalker, and it should definitely look like Mark Hamill, and this one, at least to me, does not look very, very good, but the hair sculpt does look very good, and that definitely does look like Luke Skywalker, but other than that, I don't think this is the best head sculpt and probably is one of the main downsides with this figure. Then moving down to the rest of this figure, even though it is a brand new sculpt, as I mentioned, it is pretty straightforward as it is all molded in black. The main difference with this figure comes in the articulation, and I will show that right away. But one main thing that I did notice with this new Mandalorian Luke Skywalker design is it looks almost identical to the Jabba's Palace Luke Skywalker. The only real difference is this, instead of being gray, is black on this figure. And I gotta say, I kind of do prefer the black over the gray, even though, yes, the gray is iconic. The black certainly is a nice switch up from the gray of the Return of the Jedi one. One. Moving to the back, you have some wrinkle detail on the torso, which does look quite good, and then the belt does, of course, continue. For the arms, you don't have a lot going on besides some wrinkling detail, and then, of course, you do have the one gloved hand and the one exposed hand. Then moving down to the legs, lastly, you do have a little bit of a line going down, which does look quite good. I imagine they could use these legs for another figure besides Luke, but I don't exactly know which one. Let me know if you have any ideas in the comments below. And then the only other thing to go over here really is the boots, and the boots do look very good. I absolutely love the leather texture that we have going on here. It looks very, very realistic, but other than that, there isn't a lot much more going on with this Luke Skywalker, so let's get into his highly anticipated articulation. Now, for the articulation with this Luke Skywalker, it is very, very good, as I mentioned, as it is a brand new body. The head does go up that much, which <laughs> I say it's great, and then the head articulation isn't great, but trust me, the rest is very good. Down that much, side, side, full 360. Overall, pretty good range, but I guess it could have been a little bit better, but moving the arms up, they go up about 90 degrees and then you do of course have that brand new beautiful butterfly joint which works very very well with this Luke Skywalker down full 360 single jointed elbows which go in way more than 90 kind of 45 degrees there which looks very very good and then both hands are on a vertical hinge I believe so yes uh, down up and full 360 and down up and full 360 on both sides ab crunch goes down that much back that much side side full 360 and then overall there's your kind of standard black series movement with this luke skywalker the legs do kick forward that much back split upper thigh cut keep in mind this uh, piece right here kind of does get in the way of the leg articulation but like i said upper thigh cut full 360 single jointed knee that goes in a little more than 90 beautiful boot rotation and then the ankles go up not that much down uh, a little bit more, and then, of course, a beautiful ankle rocker pivot. So, overall, pretty good articulation for this brand new Luke Skywalker. Now, first, for comparisons, here we have the Mandalorian Luke next to some other Luke Skywalkers with pretty similar designs, especially because all of these have the Return of the Jedi lightsaber. Here we have the Jabba's Palace Luke, the Endor Luke, as well as the Comics slash Legends Luke. And as I mentioned, this Mandalorian Luke has a pretty similar design to this Jabba's Palace one, and it would have looked even more similar if we did get the Rancor Luke Skywalker, as that one would have been on this body. But even even so, they do have a very similar design. This one, though, does have that older body. As you can see, it does have the pinned double-jointed knees, which, you know, they look fine for the time, I guess, but these are way better, and I absolutely love this body tenfold over these old ones, especially because it is a pinless design. Then with this design, it also does have that kind of final battle Return of the Jedi look underneath this camo outfit, uh, but obviously it is different from this new one, as it also does have the kind of ugly, well, I'm not going to say ugly, the let's just just say outdated pinned knees and then of course lastly for comparisons here we have the legends luke with the brand new mandalorian luke i always love this luke especially just with the arms exposed it's such a unique design and it's so different from the movies even though it is the same mold as the dagobah one it's just a really nice color to have him in now, next for comparisons, here we have the Mandalorian Luke next to the Mandalorian Ahsoka, as well as the Mandalorian himself, as well as Grogu being held by Luke. That is specifically the Galaxy Packaging single release Grogu. Next up for comparisons, here we have the Mandalorian Luke next to Moff Gideon, as well as a Dark Trooper in which Luke shreds down probably around 30 of them. And lastly, for comparisons, here we have the Mandalorian Luke next to a standard Black Series Stormtrooper, as well as the Obi-Wan Kenobi Darth Vader. 
Now, as for my final thoughts on this Mandalorian Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser figure, I absolutely love this thing, and I'm very happy I do, as I was expecting it to be a very, very good figure, and I gotta say, now that I have it in person, in my opinion, at least, it is just that. My only real gripes with it are the head sculpt and the lightsaber. The head sculpt isn't even that bad in the grand scheme of things, especially because majority of the time in the episode, he does have his cloak down, and that probably is how I will have him displayed, as that is how he is seen most of the time in the episode, and just, come on, that looks very, very intimidating and very, very awesome. And then the lightsaber isn't good in my opinion because I didn't mention this, but in the comparisons, the blade did break from the hilt. I did glue it back on, but I'm just really tired of the blades breaking from the lightsabers of these Black Series figures. It is just so consistent that I've come to expect it at this time, which really is sad, especially with all these prices going up and the lightsaber quality seems to always have been the exact same. They definitely have to figure out a solution for that, which the obvious solution, at least for me, is just include the hilt and the hilt with the lightsaber because at least with the hilt with the lightsaber, Saber, they could build it up really, really strong. They could maybe even put like a metal beam uh, in the middle, very small at that, but at least something like that would secure the lightsaber a lot more than it is now, or rather something along the lines of that would secure the lightsaber a lot more than it is now. I just really am sick of these lightsabers breaking, especially with the prices going up on these Black Series figures. The lightsaber quality has seemed to always stay the same, and it does have to stop, at least in my opinion. Let me know if that does happen to your figures in the comments below. I take pretty good care of my Black Series figures, and even still, it always always seems to happen but yeah just let me know if that does happen I'm very curious to hear your answer now for my rating of this figure with the price and account kind of just being a standard black series price here in Canada I'm probably going to aim higher I think I'm going to give this guy a 9.2 out of 10 I think that is a fair rating and if you are a fan of Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian which honestly how can you not be that was such an awesome scene I really do recommend this figure and I do think it is a must-have for any Mandalorian fan but that is my thoughts on that as always let me know what you think of this figure in the comments below do you like it do you not? Are you going to buy it? Are you not? As always, I really do like to hear what you all have to say. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching this one. I have been Jagger Collector. He has been Luke Skywalker, and I will see you tomorrow. May the force be with you. Bye, guys.